Once again guys, welcome to another episode of the Magaling Sapat. This is your Kuya Ron. Now this time, uh, what I'm going to share is how to find the mode. Now this is already the third measure of central tendency and which is the mode. Well basically mode is about the most frequently occurring value in a given data set. Now, once again, if you wanted to be notified, just click the notification bell. And also subscribe if you wanted to find out more of the videos that I'm going to upload so soon. So, come on guys, let's start! Okay, guys, so this is our example for finding the mode of a given data set. So our example says, find the mode of the ages of nine middle management employees of a certain company. So the ages now are as follows, 53, 45, 59, 48, 54, 46, 51, 58, and 55 years old. The nine ages. So if I may recall, our notation for mode is this is the notation M sub O. This is for the population. Mode of the population. And then, if it is for the sample, you have X hat. This is for sample mode. Okay? So, since this is just a sample, a very few data set, then let's find our X sub hat. So, there is no specific uh, notation in finding the x hat or the mode of a given data set. As I've mentioned in the, in the introduction, mode is simply identifying the most reoccurring value in a data set. Our data set here is uh, the ages or are the ages of the nine um, middle management employees. Now, if you look at here, we don't have any, we don't have any uh, reoccurring age of the nine middle management employees. Thus, in this case, we are going to say now that mode does not exist. So, in other words, there is no reoccurring value or there is no reoccurring age among the nine middle management employees for this example. So, that's why we said, or that's why we say, mode does not exist in this data set. Now, for the purpose of example, let's say, example number two. So, for example number two, if I have example, I, we have the score of five, nine, eight, five, for six so in this case we have n is six that is our sample size let's find the x hat or the mode so let's identify whether there is a repeated score or value in this particular example you notice we have five here as repeated so and all the rest uh, of the numbers or entry are all unique so in this case we would then claim that we have here five as our mode we have five being the mode of this data set by the way when the mode of the of a given data set is only one we call this data set as a uni modal data okay it's a unimodal data meaning from the word uni meaning to say one now for another example let's say you have example number three you have five nine eight five four six and four so in this case what is our n it's seven right so we have now seven and three if you look at this one what is the mode or what do we have a repeated or reoccurring value in this case, we have 5 as repeated and then you have 4 as repeated. Both number 5 and 4 were repeated twice. So that means to say they have the same uh, amount of reoccurring value in this state given data set. So with that, our mode for this example is 5 and 4. Well, order doesn't matter. It means to say we, we have reoccurring value. The most re reoccurring value in this, in this given data set is 5 and 4. So you notice we have now 5 and 4. That means to say 2. 
With that, we call this data set as a bimodal data. Okay, it's a bimodal data from the word by means say to. Now, if we have another example, that's five, nine, eight, five, four, six, four, nine, um, and then let's say three. So in this case, we have our sample size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 samples. So in this case, what is our mode? Let's identify. 5 was repeated, okay, twice. 4 was repeated also twice. And also 9 was repeated twice. So you notice 5, 4, 9 were repeated twice. Meaning to say, these 4... Um, entry were repeated at the same time were repeat were most repeated at uh, twice at the same time so we have now we will list down here five nine and four so you notice we have three most reoccurring value in this given data set thus we call now this one as a tri modal data meaning to say from the word try which means Three. Now, for the purpose of explaining you, if in case you have a most reoccurring value of more than three, others would call it a multimodal data or, yeah, it's a multimodal data. We call it multimodal data when you exceed four. Now, just for the, for the purpose of clarification, what if in this given data set, I'm going to add, let's say you have five, nine eight five four six four nine three and five so this is another example set of example let's say what is our n now what's the sample size five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have ten samples now you notice five was repeated thrice and then uh, 9 was repeated twice so as well as 4 were repeated also twice but in this case our mode is 5 because we're talking about the most reoccurring value or the most repeated yes 9 and 4 were repeated but they were only repeated twice but 5 here were repeated thrice so that means to say it's the most reoccurring value thus we have five as our mode and in this case our data set is considered as a uni modal data okay so i hope the explanation is clear to us and how to find the the data or the mode of the given data set we call this data as um or we call mode as the most frequently reoccurring value. So should you have any question or clarification, you can leave a question or comments in the comment section. So with that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please tune in for the next or the next upload uh, uploads of videos to come. So thank you and be safe.